Hi there, this is Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy, and um, I've been swapping a lot. I guess because of COVID, now we haven't been able to get together, so me and some demonstrators have been swapping, and I just wanted to share some of my swaps and show them off because they're so pretty, and I feel like I'm the only one that sees them, and everybody needs to see them. So let's just get started. So this was my team swap, and there's um, cards. Look how pretty that is. Right? Is that not beautiful? This is Charla's. And she used that, um, I think it's called Flower for Every Season. Let me find the designer series paper. Because it's this one here. But it's just that print of there. And then the other side is, well, it's in there too. But I can't find it in the book. But isn't that pretty? So that's a Christmas card using that floral um, designer series paper. So thanks, Charla. That's one of them. And then look at this one from Mary. Isn't that tree pretty? That's in the the mini catalog, the August through December mini catalog. Love that tree. And you could do that for a bunch of different seasons. I don't know if you can see, this is the shimmer paper. It's got a little bit of shimmer on there. And then love the sequins. So there's another card. Let's see. Oh, and a little pretty blingy on the inside too. There we go. And then this one was Christie's. And it looks like this. It's using the um, Global Scenes, I think it is called. It's in the annual catalog, and it has all these die cuts to make this snow globe. And look how pretty she did this technique in the back. It's a really pretty card. Whoop. The inside is black on that one. She sent a little note. But anyway. And then this one is Paulette's. And look at the sparkle on that one. Woo! And a shaker card. Isn't that pretty? And this is using, oh darn it, what's that Christmas tree? Something woods. Anyway, love this. It's a really pretty card. Oh, there's my note. Shouldn't show you all my notes, but there's Paulette's card. Not a pretty one too, right? And then this is Amy's card. Look how cute that is. And I think that's the mug set, but I could be wrong on that one. But I love the little how she used the, um, braided twine i think that's called the real red braided twine i don't know there's just a lot going on it's a pretty card too thank you amy okay and then this one is phoebe's and she used the or <coughs> the ornaments and the punch can't remember the name of that stamp set but it's in the holiday catalog to the mini April, um, august through december and even her color choices look how pretty that is simple but yet yeah, it's it's a good card love just a little touch of bling on there Okay, and then this is Brenda's card, and look how she used the designer series paper to make that background. Is that not beautiful? And then the watercolor on here, and then the, I mean, it's just, they're just really nice cards. Look how nice they are. I think this must have been a Christmas theme, because uh, here's Bonnie's with the little snowman. <laughs> He's also in the annual catalog with the punch. And I believe this is the, um, mm -hmm. well, I'll have to think of what that's called. That's a punch, too. And I never can remember the name of that punch. But that's Bonnie's. Isn't that cute, too? So that was one swap with my team. And I believe my paper says that was a July swap. So that was July. And then this is August swap with my, oh, nope, nope, this is a different swap. Oh, well, here we go. So this is with a, another group of stampers. This is Linda's. Look how she did this pocket here. And then Linda was nice enough to send also the template task to make this card, which is really cute. It's a lot of folding and scoring, but it's a cute little pocket card. Okay. And then this one was mine. That's what was it with the last one. I didn't have my swap in there. Huh. Oh, well. So this was mine. And you can watch my video on YouTube, how to make your own brick background. But this was my swap. And then this one is Wanda's. Look how cute that is. Love that. See, that's that same designer series paper. Very popular right now. And the ornate, I think this is the ornate folder, but I could be wrong. And then just a pretty inside with Wanda's card. Very bright and cheery. This was Janet's. Watch this one. It pops up. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Look how cute that is. That's more of that designer series paper. So many different ways. And the sunflower stamp set. So there's Janet's card. Whoop. Ah, just in case you didn't hear it the first time. And then this one is, uh-oh, Terry's card, our fearless leader. And look how cute that is. Using the same designer series paper. Look how many times we've seen this designer series paper used different ways. 
It's just very, and look how fun and cheery that card is with the um, sunflowers back here. That's a pretty card too. But like I said, they're all pretty. That's why I wanted to share. This is Kelly's card. Look how she's colored that those flowers. And then I don't think you can see it, but there's a little bit of um, crystal effects here and Wink Estella and some more crystal effects. Although it's not called crystal effects. I bet you it's a fine tip glue pen now. And this again is the designer series paper and she used a folder back here, but that's just a pretty card too. And then last but not least, this is um, Mary's card. And look how pretty those the fall colors are. And it's got a little bit of gold foil on there and just a little bit of bling. Whoop, I dropped it. But look, oh, and these are the um, cards and gold folders. I wish I could remember what those are called. These are the um, already card bases you can just buy already done. But nice job, Mary. So that was another swap with a different set of demonstrators. And then I have one more. And this is a swap that's all demonstrators, um, and it's all over. I don't even know some of these people, but um, it's all of these are from the, <coughs> darn it, the new mini catalog, the August through December. So let's go through these. I'll start with mine. Mine looks like this. It's the, um, the bridge card. I have this on YouTube too, so if you're interested in seeing how and the measurements for the bridge card, you could either go on my blog, BeCreativeWithKathy.com, or you can go on my YouTube channel, Be Creative with Kathy, and see that one. And then I'm going to take them out as we go. Sorry, I should have done this before. I just wasn't thinking. And then this, look how cute, this little melted snowman. And I should grab my catalog, but you could go through the catalog and see. This is that velvet paper, which is really pretty, especially with the silver and just a little bit of bling on there. Look how cute that card is. And let's see if I can find the name. Here we go. So this is, um, nope, no name. Doggone it. Nope, yes, it is Diane Webb. Oh, Diane. Hi. I love this card. I know Diane. Anyway. Okay. And then I do remember this one is Kathy Hansen's. And look how cute this is with the little shaker pieces in there. Oop, nope. Isn't that cute? That's a cute card. Oh, I got upside down. It goes this way. My little pumpkins are all upside down. But anyway, it's a cute shaker card. And then we have this one. Now look at this one. This one is, is um, interesting from Donna Williams. And look at what a beautiful, well, kind of Christmas card with that purple and blue together. Is that not beautiful? Gotta love snowflakes. There we go. I thought that was really pretty. And the, and the purple bling and stuff. But they're all really good swaps. And this is Janet's card. And look how she's got that gold foil um, wheel on the wheelbarrow and all the coloring and stamping and cutting out. And I love this fence right here. Love, love, love that one. Even the, the background is colored. I think that's watercolor pencils, but that's a nice card too. And thanks, Janet. And then this one. And I, let's see if I know whose card this one is. This is that tree again, like was in the last swap. Love this tree. Oh, this is Joey's. Look how pretty those fall colors are on Joey's card. Just stamped off, I think, and then stamped in a couple colors in a cute little birdhouse. Love to get that in the mail. That's a really pretty card. But I keep saying that's a pretty card because they all are. And this one is Angela's. And she used those snowflakes again. And I believe Angela said this is the shaving cream method. That's how she got this background to look like that, is you put a little bit of ink in the shaving cream and just mix it up and you rub your paper. I'll have to do a video like that and show you. So really it's um, heat bosses this, then she heat embossed this all the white over the top. And love these little bling. These are really pretty. I hadn't seen those live yet and look at those. So great card, thank you, Angela. One more, ooh, this one's really pretty too. This is Kathy Valdez's. And look how she used that embossing folder. Just a little bit of silver foil paper here in the center and then emboss this in silver too. That's a pretty card. You could, you could whip out a bunch of these if you needed a Christmas card. Look how pretty that is. Nice job, Kathy.
that one's very elegant. Now, careful of this one because I did not see these reindeer in the catalog. There's so much in the catalog until I saw this card and this one. So look at these reindeer. Are, is that not a really pretty die cut reindeer? Here it's stamped and cut out, and then here it's just a die that you can cut it out. But let's see, I might not know whose card this is. Oh, it's this one, there. Nope, I can't see it. Oh, this is Patricia's. So look how pretty that is. All these little pieces are from the die set that go with this stamp set. <laughs> And then, of course, this is the circle, no, the stitched frames, stitch shape framelits, something like that. And then the oval. Like they're not circles, they're ovals. Come on, Kathy. But I thought that is just a really pretty, pretty card. What well, light hair? I said it again, they all are. And this one, this is Rhonda, uh, Wanda, sorry, Wanda, Wanda Williams. But those are the reindeer in the die set. And then there's that folder again on some gold. That's, I hope you can see, it's a really pretty, pretty card with that gold on there. And then look, Rudolph. <laughs> okay, and then there's this one. Let's see who's this card. This is Tina's. And that's with the bells. And look how she just looped this around the back just to kind of loop those bells in there. I thought that was cute. And love the designer series paper. So just a simple card from Tina. And then check this one out. Have you seen the gnomes that are in the catalog? Rhonda took the little gnomes and made this Christmas card. Is that not cute with the little tree and the little gnome and all her little decorations on her hat? I think that's a really cute card. And the way she made the, um, like the path and the grass up to the house. Yeah, nice job, Rhonda. That's a cute gnome card. There you go. And then this one, I believe this is Elizabeth. Yep, look at this one. This one's really pretty too. This is a stamp set that's on my list. I can't decide, do I need it? Do I want it? Am I gonna get it? But I just love it. Look at how she has the manger there. And then when you open it up, the rest of it's on the inside. So it's like a peekaboo card. Is that not cool? Nice job, love this card too. Whoop, there he is. Okay, and then, Love this one. This is a really simple one by Chris. Although simple doesn't necessarily mean it's not wow, because check this out. How she used that designer series paper, just cut into a circle. And I think this is the poinsettia design. Oh, and this is the poinsettia must be. But look how pretty that card is. Well, let me get in the center here. Even a little touch of ribbon with the gold on it and the gold here, really pretty. There's Chris's card. Love that card. But like I keep saying that, I love them all. And this one, I have to get the name on this one. I can't remember whose card this one is. But it says, open if you dare. Oh, this is Ellie. Now I'm not from, I don't know Ellie, but I think I've swapped with her before. I don't know her personally, so I recognize her cards, but look how cute that is. I think this has to be the prettiest Halloween stamp that I have ever seen. And I love, love, love the, um, this cobweb embossing folder. And look, when you open it up, it has this big piece in here with all these spiders on there. Happy Halloween. And look, she stamped one even here. But isn't that a pretty, pretty Halloween set? Let me show you one more. Here's another Halloween set. Now this one was by Lynn. And watch this, when you open this card, it's the, <coughs> excuse me, it's a swiper card. Now, if you watch and follow my YouTube, you saw I just did a swiper card. My card went this way. Well, yeah, this way with the swiper. Look how she did this and the beautiful Halloween set and that little swiper comes down, that little spider comes out. Is that not adorable? Beautiful card. So that's what I have. Those are all my swaps for the month of, I don't think that's all of them. But as I get more swaps, if you like seeing them like this, I will um, be sure and share them with you. I got to share them with somebody because they are all so nice that you guys need to see them too. So thanks for watching. And I, um, I'll see you again real soon with another set of card swaps. Bye.